So I know I told you we were going to talk about the coffee enema today, and we are gonna. So you stand by and tomorrow or the next day or whenever I get around to it, we'll talk about the coffee enema. I'm going to actually take a coffee enema. And show you is this incredible African violet that I'm growing. Isn't it awesome? Okay, so and also I put some of my daughter's art in the background so they could enjoy that. But today I want to talk about an experience I had with a friend. She's having surgery or just had surgery and I was asking her about taking enemas because she's constipated and she's, ooh, I don't want to take an enema. And I was like, well, why? And she said, well, they're so painful. And I questioned her a little bit more about that. And I realized that I think a lot of people avoid an enema until they're really, really, really constipated. And then they take the enema. So maybe they haven't moved their bowels in three, four, five days. And yes, when your colon is that full, and you're going to get out that much stool. You will likely be in pain when you are releasing from that enema. So the trick is, is to take the enema on after not moving the bowels um, after a day or two days at the most. So just the, the whole notion here is to become friendly with the enema. The enema Putting some water in your colon is very therapeutic and doesn't need to hurt. So the moral of the story is do not wait to take your enema. The sooner you do it, the better the experience is going to be, the happier your body is going to be, and the less chance you are to have pain. Enemas are great. Mm -hmm.